Moving to South Sudan now, where the government has inaugurated a committee to lead national consultations ahead of the establishment of a commission for truth, reconciliation and healing. The 21 members have been drawn from the Ministries of Justice, Gender, the South Sudan Human Rights Commission and the Peace and Reconciliation Commission. The process encourages citizens to talk about the tragedies that have affected their communities in order to promote healing and reconciliation. It comes a day after President Salva Kiir declared an urgent need for a national dialogue to end the ongoing violence in South Sudan. Declaring the consultative process open, Vice President Taban Dengai called on all parties to embrace the initiative. We in the government realize that peace and development go hand in hand. This is why we are here today to find ways for peace and reconciliation among our citizens. Through the establishment of Commission for Truth, Reconciliation and Healing, we will encourage our population to talk about real issues that affected the social public of our nation, issues that they have experienced in the past, issues of tragedies and suffering. We all will have, uh, we all have other stories that we will encourage our population to bring forward in order to carry healing and reconcile uh, the nation. Issues of accountability and how to fight impunity. 